just want to see how fast this Chayua dies. Assuming I don't get one shot. That was a good one. What's up, YouTube? Demi here with a new Lale build. For those of you who have been asking for more and more Lale builds, this is a Void Fletcher Deadeye, which is kind of hard to show you in hideout, so let me go to a zone that I can shoot in. Void Fletcher fires arrows with your arrows based on your void charges, right? That second explosion, that's the Void Fletcher shot. If you use Barrage, though, this is mechanic, which is apparently intended, where if you use Barrage, it fires all of the arrows, all five charges, all at once. So if you fire directly on top of yourself, you can become the Singularity. Which is everything you've all wanted, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, show you a quick map clear and uh, talk about the build a little bit. It's basically just your standard Fizz Bow character, or you could even do Ellie Bow character very, very easily. I'm not going to alk this map because I just want to show you, like, this is a 10 million HP Minotaur map. It's just, just a white map, you know, T16 Guardian. But the map clear is the same, you can use whatever bow skill you prefer. If you like Tornado Shot, you like Lightning Arrow, you like Ice Shot, it doesn't matter. Rain of Arrows, Blast Rain, any bow skill works. As with most bow characters, like you can swap in the main skill for whatever the fuck you want. You just have to use Barrage for single target, which is also basically every bow character. Um, you can go Deadeye, you can go Raider, you can go Pathfinder, it doesn't matter. I tried um, Pathfinder at first, which I liked a lot more for the consistency and the flask up time. But I've also decided that, you know what, this build is stupid and it has way too much damage and we need to make that much worse. So I took Lael's build, which starts as a Deadeye, and I made it even squishier and gave it even more damage and then slapped a bunch of mirror gear on it because it's just funny. And I think I just over doubled his damage, but his, him and his gear is fairly budget. So it's just like, you know, it's an option. If you want to invest heavily into a character, you can. My gear is not min-maxed correctly for this type of build. It's not perfect for this type of build. If you threw more currency at it, you could get probably three times the damage that I have. But uh, here, let me show you what this does. You just bait out Minotaur. He should pop out like right there. Walk up, barrage. Walk away, he's dead. Congratulations, you killed the Guardian. Easy. And it'll do that on Lael's version. That was not at all relevant to how much total damage that I can do. That's just like a, an example. So... Deadeye. Why Deadeye? Because Endless Munitions. 50% AoE and an additional projectile is massive. Incredibly massive. Far Shot helps with clear. It's more damage when they're farther away when you're doing your normal map clear. And then you get Rupture, which is stupid. Um, we have a little bit of Fizz damage on our Tornado Shot and our Barrage, which means we can have that 25% chance to afflict bleed actually work. You have to have at least one point of Fizz damage to get that to work. But if they're bleeding, you get 40% crit multi, 80% crit strike chance, and 30 life whenever you hit bleeding enemies, which while you're mapping is basically instant leech since you're hitting the whole screen with tornado shot all the time. Uh, and then fast and deadly afterwards, you get some proj damage, double accuracy, and your blink arrow is actually like a respectable cooldown, which is really nice actually. Like, Dead Eye is not particularly fast. We don't take the Tailwind node because we just go for, this is a boss killing build as the last build, the golem build, which I'll link in the description if you missed Lael's last build. Um, but if you wanted to do more maps, you could easily drop this for this and just go faster. It's up to you. This is mostly set up for bossing at the moment. So as I said, the skill tree is pretty standard bow character. You get a bunch of life, half or 40% fizz conversion here, fizz to cold. Um, all the bow crit nodes, all the wed, wed pen nodes, life, crit multi king of the hill, look more cold pen. Uh, point blank for 50% more damage when they're close to us, which I was with that minotaur, right? You just walk up and shoot it, all your projectiles explode right in front of your face. Great. Uh, and then jewels will go over in a bit. Crit multi, crit crit multi, phase damage with bows, all that good stuff. I only took acro instead of acro phase acro because I wanted more damage. If you want more defensiveness, take that. There will be two pace spins in the description as well. One of them will be Lael's original version 
and then one of them will be this version, which is just stupid. More damage, basically. Uh, we have a Lionized Fall here to convert the Claw Nodes and Radius, melee weapon types and Radius, to Bow Modifiers. So we converted the Claw section into Claw or Bow, Cricket Multi. Uh, we have this for even more Cricket Multi with Bows, and this for even more damage and Crit with Bows. Great. Life, Jewels, uh, some Fizz damage, Double damage. If I proc that Double damage thing, everything dies. It's ridiculous. Uh, life Nodes. Crit nodes, fizz nodes, damage nodes, attack speed, life, crit crit multi, even more. This is, Lael said this was really important. It gives you plus one radius to your void projectile thing so that it makes the AoE bigger. With Dead Eyes AoE and Dying Sun's AoE, you get that big circle, which is important. And then we have a uh, Watcher's Eye, some more crit multi, and an unnatural instinct because this node is, again, broken. Every character ever who could use this jewel should use this jewel in this spot. spot. Jesus, can't speak. Attack speed, life, uh, movement speed, crit, crit multi, 45% multi. Like, is it, I don't know how to explain how broken that is, but even if you had a quad multi jewel, like this is the equivalent of a three multi jewel plus like five other stats. It's disgusting. Um, as for the rest of the jewels, Void Eye, or sorry, Void Fletcher. I keep saying Void Eye, I don't know why. It has a Void Shot, I can't even think of the right words. Either way, it has a really good uh, base damage multiplier. Let me pull up the wiki for you real quick. It has 120% damage effectiveness and 120% multiplier. Um, they buffed it last league so that it explodes faster and deals 100% more area damage and has added damage effectiveness. Like it's It's got a huge buff last league. And I messed with it a little bit last league. Like I've been trying to test it on my Windrip every once in a while. It's pretty good, but because I don't use Barrage, I never really understood how broken it could be if you had Barrage. Um, so if you wanted to use it on a single target on any bow character with barrage, you can very easily. But this buff means that if you stack like flat damage and cold damage or whatever and have a good base damage bow, the void shot deals a hilarious amount of damage. But yeah, the rest of my jewels, so we have the Lion Eyes Fall here to convert all this stuff into bow mods. We have a Watcher's Eye. We are using Hatred, so if you can get base crit with Hatred, great. The best in slot is actually base crit plus flat cold plus conversion. If you can get all three of those mods, great. I don't have that, obviously, because that's like 500x for a jewel, and I'm just making this build for memes. The rest of your jewels should be abyssal jewels with a bunch of flat damage on them. So we got life, flat damage, multi, life, or sorry, just flat damage, multi. You're going to want cold damage primarily, because the Void Fletcher is like mostly cold. Just stack flat cold, basically. Uh, look at that. Multi damage, whatever. Crit multi onslaught. Uh, you are using a reach of the council as well, so fizz to bows is fine, too. Um, this jewel in our belt, low look, life multi damage to attacks. And this jewel over here, life multi damage to attacks. Great. Um, let's get into the gear choices. So, required gear to play this character, right? This is all you, this is all you gotta worry about. You need a Void Fletcher. Any additional arrow that you get when you use a skill will apply to that Void Fletcher. So if you have, like, Dying Sun, Projectiles, Quiver, additional arrow. If you have a bow that has additional projectiles or arrows, great. That'll give you more arrows. Uh, Deadeye gives us an additional arrow. Arborix gives us two additional arrows. Death Harp gives you two additional arrows. Like any of those bows will work. I'm using Legacy Reach because it has a lot of arrows and a lot of damage. Not needed. Death Harp works incredibly well actually, but this was just funny and I had it from back way back in the day when I used to use Lemon Prime more often. And then the rest of your gear is basically just rares. So I guess you can use Tomb Fists if you have them. You get your Intimidate on hit with a Murderous Eye Jewel socketed. I'm actually using the Murderous Eye Jewel to get the Fire Damage to Attacks mod, specifically because we're using also a Cinder Swallow Urn, which means enemies ignited by you during Flask Effect take 10% increased damage. It's a more multiplier. Um, I didn't have any Fire Damage without this Jewel, so I couldn't ignite. So I equipped a Jewel with Fire Damage to Attacks in this slot, and that fulfilled my Flask requirement. You can put that anywhere, but because it's a murderous eye jewel, you can only get generic fire damage to attacks. All the other mods for specific stuff would be like dagger, sword, axes, maces, whatever. Not for bows on murderous, so get it as generic and then multi, whatever else you can get on it. Uh, let's see. Helmet. Whatever bow skill you're using, grab the enchant there, but just get life resist, negative res if you can. We're mostly cold damage, so negative cold. I crafted this using pristine and... Um, Frigid fossils just for the life cold dam or cold mod. That's it. They're that's actually really easy to craft. I made like three of them, they're not hard at all. Uh, boots, life resist, movement speed. You could go for movement speed onslaught on kill here. You could go for cannot be frozen here. 
lots of options there. Get the 10% pen enchant so you can one-shot bosses. Glove enchant, uh, Commandment of Fury would be great. If you can get base crit, attacks have base crit or LE weak or frenzy charge, attack speed, max life, any of those corruptions are good as well. But enchantment-wise, go for Rogue Fury. What else we got? Belt. Um, Elder Belts are great. You can get projectile attack damage, attack speed, flask effect, pen with the hysteria. Lots of good stuff here. But if you can't afford something this stupid, just get life resist on a Stygian and wed. Like, say 70 life, 50 res, 30 wed. That's easy to make, shouldn't cost you more than a couple of chaos. It'll be pretty solid, it'll carry you to endgame. Uh, rings, you're gonna want to actually go for opal rings because of how much cold damage this thing has. Uh, try to go for cold damage on this, on your rings. So, elemental damage, cold damage, life resists, cold to attacks, elemental damage with attack skills, attack speed, accuracy, crit multi, any of that stuff is good. And then amulet, you can get a shaper amulet that's like fizzes extra plus multi plus life plus pen, whatever, any of that combination. You could also get an elder amulet with like attack speed, extra fire, non chaos with chaos, any of that stuff is good. It is uh, physical converted to cold skill, so you can get two stages of non chaos with chaos if you want in that slot. And then chest piece, get an elder chest with uh, base crit on it. Attacks have X crit. This is a ridiculously high DPS chest that is in my mirror thread, of course. All of this gear is probably in my mirror thread, because that's how I craft characters when I want to min-max them. Just slap a bunch of mirror gear on it and hope it works together. And it does, but you don't need it. You can craft a, uh, a chest like this fairly easily. Grab some pristine fossils, grab some, um, what are they called, serrated fossils. So that's life plus attack mods on an elder chest. If it's high enough item level, you should get a fairly good chest really easily. I believe Lael has one in his, is this, this is Lael's, yeah. Lael's using a chest that looks like that, which is just fossil crafted pretty easily. It's not even this astral plate, it doesn't matter. Just life resist, same as mine. Um, other than that, I guess Flask we can talk about next. Sandra Swallower, and we talked about a little bit. It gives you instant kills, instant leech on kill, basically. 10% uh, more damage and onslaught, cool. Diamond Flask for bleed immunity, Dying Sun for projectiles and AoE. Uh, gotta go fast flask and it's Zeri's Promise because we do convert twice. This is a pretty solid boost of extra damage. Um, gem links for your tornado shot or whatever your main skill is. Just check back the building basically. But what I'm using is tornado shot, Mirage Archer, wed, added cold, greater multiple projectiles, and increased critical damage. Again, it depends on what your character is. So to check your links, import your character into Path of Building. However, you just click this, type in your account name, select your character, right? And then you just uh, go to your skill. God, this, there we go. And then add the stuff that you know you'll need. Like you need to have Mirage Archer, you need to have GMP basically. And then you just select the skill on the left side, click this, and it'll tell you which one's the highest damage. Just follow along with that basically, and you're good to go. It's just, it's really easy. It's a path of building never lies. <laughs> so my links might not even be incorrect. It doesn't matter that much. It's like a little bit of a difference, but it'll tell you your links. Uh, as for the main skill, Barrage, you go for the same same strategy that I just showed you, but do it for Barrage as well. I'm um, using Barrage, Added Cold, Hypothermia, Elemental Damage with Attacks, LE Focus, and Block Chance Reduction, which is not correct, actually. So I killed that Minotaur instantly with a 5 link. I was doing Hall of Grandmasters earlier just to see if the build can. It kind of can, but not really. So that was a 5 link kill. Uh, other links, we got Herald Device, Link to Curse on Hit Assassin's Mark. This gives us our power charges. Portal gem, because I don't like using portal scrolls. Uh, blink arrow to get up and down ledges. War banner for the accuracy, and we get adrenaline when we drop it on bosses. Hatred for the extra cold damage. And then a uh, castle damage taken, immortal call, frost bomb setup, which gives enemies negative 25% cold res. You can also just manually cast this if you want. You could have this as a three link and then the speed by itself. You could self cast this frost bomb for the negative 25 cold res on bosses. And an ice golem for some quick crit and accuracy. But yeah, I think that's it. This is another Lail build. Again, boss killing builds, but this one is actually good at mapping, so I can give it a plus one for both things. It's disgusting either way. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, both paste pins will be in the description. If you want more Lail builds, if you have a build that you want me to showcase, and it's like a really unique, cool idea, I don't know, tell me about it on Discord, which is on screen, actually. Good timing. Join that and let me know, and maybe we can make your build next. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. That'll be on me out. I should also say, I will be gone for the weekend. This video is probably going to go up tomorrow, so I'll be gone for until Monday. So if there's no videos posted, that's why. 
I'm okay. I'm just hanging out with my cousin in Discord in, uh, Discord in Pittsburgh for their graduation. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a good one, and that'll be dipping out.